This drone has been designed and 3D printed by a 12-year-old child. It costs $25. In the future, children will design and 3D print their own toys. Gone will be the days when we buy impersonal and ridiculously expensive toys mass-produced for our children. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jussi Kajala, and I'm with 3D Bear, a company that makes this dream come true. The next big wave of digitalization will be objects. Like PCs in the 90s, hold on. What happens is that few of us buy physical CD-ROMs anymore. We buy the access to the digital file. Similarly, toy market will become digital content business. And let me share a secret with you. This all begins in schools. Just like PCs in the 90s, over 50% of 3D printing market is education. And at the grassroots level, teachers have two problems. First, the technology is too difficult to use. And second, there is no learning content. What do I do with this? How do I learn with this better? 3D Bear solves these problems by gamifying the learning experience and providing pedagogical content that's been co-developed with the best educational system in the world, Finland. With hardware coming from our partners, we provide complete end-to-end -end digital solution. It includes gamified apps that help with the design, teacher's view that helps running the class, links to the curric curriculum, lesson plans, onboarding material, everything you need to learn 3D and with the help of 3D. And that all costs $5 per student per year. That's access to our online learning and sharing platform. We are a one-year-old company. During the last year, we've made 200,000 US dollars. We have over 100 schools as our paying customers. That's already 5% market share in Finland. We went to the schools in Silicon Valley. They loved our product. Afterwards, we signed a US-wide distribution deal. Yesterday, we signed 1 million euro seed investment into our company. Woo! In addition to having the best team around, we are in a unique, well-thought niche in an exponentially growing market. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the next big wave of digitalization are decided today in our market. My question to you is, are you ready to play? Well, I play every day. I have two boys. Will you play with me? <laughs> so um, tell a bit about um, how much um, the kids really like your product. You know, it's easy for adults to say that this is really fun and gamifying and so forth, but you need to give us some traction numbers. Like, you know, how kids really, are they passionate about this? And how many toys have they built and all of that? So talk me through the kid, kids' passion, because, you know. Absolutely. Hmm. I mean, kids, they love it. It's more like how to get attraction. Teachers have been a bigger problem, uh, to be honest. I know that, yeah. But, right, so for example, um, last week in Oulu, in Talvikangas, uh, children had the task to redo their school. They thought, well, what bothers them? Uh, what are the nice places in her school? And they found out, like, in the yard, jingle, jungle gym, I fall off and I hurt my knee. On the uh, ground floor, there's a noisy corridor. Oh, I hate the noise. On the second floor of the house, there's a place where we do homework, but there's no place to do homework. So they used our application to redesign their school. On the jungle gym, they designed sand and safety cushions to soften the fall. On the first ground floor of the school, they designed a quiet room to escape from the noise. 
On the second floor, they made a place where they can do homework during the break hours. And they voted for the best design to be 3D printed. They designed this in augmented reality and went to the principal and said, look, this is it. We thought, how can we improve our learning environment? And we figured out this way. Yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic concept to give a simple way for, for children to create concrete things. And as we know, it's not just about digital content, but right. about many things. What are the most difficult things then, like from the user point of view? I'm just trying to think like, because right. eventually this has to be something that the teachers love and, and the kids love. Absolutely. So most difficult point is teacher onboarding. How do we get teachers to use this? And we solve it. It's first of all, it's user interface design problem. So we make it so easy that anybody can do it. But secondly, it's also a market channel choice. So in the United States, there are educational technology agencies which teach teachers. So we, that we teach them, and they teach teachers. So it, it's kind of a channel choice as well. What, what are your views around a consumer option as well, just to get the momentum behind us? So you are running into the, the blob that is trying to get into the public education system beyond charter schools. Can you not get a consumer route going to really push us through? Absolutely. And that's our final goal. So that's, that's our end game. We get traction in go-to-market, in education market. And then when we have the use base, we go to brands like Disney, say, look, what if we add your brand to this? Make it really, you know, consumer market application. So anybody at home can design their own toys. And that's when we break through. That's the kind of uh, point. That will be, there will be uh, uh, one Christmas when the price point of 3D printers has gone to 150 euros. People get really excited. It might happen in New York. They buy 3D printers, and then they think, OK, what's the kind of design software? Who, who are we going to use? And then when 3D Bear is a big name, they will take it, because we are in the schools already. So I, mean, I would say that day is here. We're invested in 3D hubs, which have a huge network of public 3D printing. You have Shapeways as well. There's lots of outsourced options here. There are, absolutely. And these are model platforms, but they don't provide the end-to-end -end easy experience. Of course, but they can do the printing piece. Yes, sure. So it's not limited that way. You can go to the library to print. If, so the school doesn't need to have 3D printer, even in the educational market. That's one beauty of it. But you could go straight to consumers. All right. Maybe we could. Um, I'm impressed you've got to 100 schools already, because uh, I know how hard it is to sell to schools. How have you done that? Right. So um, we are really good at uh, selling. That's one point. But second point is the engagement. So students really love this. I, I, I gave you one use example when you asked the first question. But second thing is uh, boys who normally don't get excited by books, when they get to do this with their own hands, they really write, get excited. And there are stories already in these two years. We have ambassador teachers who have kids in their class who, who, who had really problems in uh, concentrating in school. And when they've designed their own drone, when they've done their feature spinners, they not only did that themselves, but also become better in other school subjects afterwards.